This is insane. Good morning, guys. Today is gonna be all about board development. I have a new foil board to test and can release this video obviously before the board is out or we decided to not bring it out. So I'm just gonna take me with me. Today is December the 12th. Uh, to give you guys some context for those of you who have already been subscribed back then. This is right when I came back from Tenerife. You might remember the three videos from Tenerife. So yeah, it's freezing cold in Hamburg, but I gotta test the board. So I'm taking you with me today. Let's go. Okay, so we just arrived at my parents' house, which is where the board arrived. And this board is actually quite a special one. Um, internally, we call it the Project Spaceship. Uh, you will see why. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's super, super cold and like about two degrees and really miserable weather to do some testing. But because it's such a special board and project, I, I'm really excited to get it out on the water. And we actually need some results, some testing results. So I would say, let's check the board out. But you wow. can't show the board. I will show it. Fuck. The weirdest thing ever. This is a real first reaction because I have never seen this board before. Never seen such a board then. Foot straps. Wow. This is insane. Wow. Now you know why we call it the spaceship. Because it looks like a fucking spaceship. Insane. So... Yeah, generally about board development, you know, we usually get the the team riders. When I say we, I mean the team riders. We get some boards sent. Usually we try to test them together so that we always have somebody to compare with. And uh, so we test them, find out which is the better one, and then we keep the better one until we find another better board. So usually, as I said, we test together. But in this case, I'm just going to test it by myself because we just need to get it to the water and we need to see how this concept works in general. Is it really working at all and once we did that we're gonna compare it to other boards uh, see if it's faster but for today I'll just get this thing on the water hopefully if I don't freeze to death before I mean obviously this is not the most handy board but I'm always open to innovation and I just like to see what's possible, how can we improve even more, how can we go better upwind, faster. So yeah, I'm super, super curious to get this on the water. 17 to 19 knots at the lighthouse. So to the lake or to the sea? That's the question. What do you think? Instagram stories Don't forget to follow me on Instagram link down below going board testing in like Two degrees Anybody want to change with me? Oh, it's really damn cold To be honest, I haven't even been foiling much lately and then right away in like super cold weather But it's alright. I hope when you're watching this it's like 30 degrees outside and this helps you cooling down a bit watching it because it's really cold.
Fingers crossed for enough wind. <laughs> oh, it's so cold though. Aren't you cold? Shit! Man, no wind. But I had a lot of time to think out there and I was thinking <laughs> I'm gonna upload this video anyway because it's not always nice and everything works out, you know. You come to test and it's like two degrees and there's not even wind. Like this is not the most fun day for me, but uh, it's part of it. So that's why I'm gonna put this video out there anyway. Uh, there's a major rain cloud coming. Uh, chances are the wind is gonna die and we got heavy rain and two degrees. Or the wind might increase, but I think uh, it's rather gonna die. So let's wait for that. Hopefully I get just a few. I just want like two runs just to see how the board works. Man, devastating. So we were lucky, some wind came, uh, actually a little bit too much, to be honest, uh, with the rain. As predicted, the rain came, Alara had to move back to the car so the cameras wouldn't get wet. But now I'm done and yeah, what's my feedback to the board? Uh, as I said, you're gonna see this, I think, uh, half a year later from when I filmed this. And my prediction is the board is not gonna go in production. <laughs> It didn't work as, uh, I mean, kind of as expected, but not as good as it should. Uh, it was kind of hard to get, a, get it up foiling uh, because it has so much volume in the back and you need to press down the tail of the board in order uh, for the foil to lift. And that was really hard with that board. Once I was up on the water, uh, foiling over the water, uh, it gave me really good leverage because it was so thick the meaning the the foot strap position Was so far away from the foil position so that gave me a lot of leverage uh, When being up on the foil, but other than that for racing situations, I think uh, It's not the best sport. So <laughs> hey <laughs> So yeah, that's my resume about this day and He's we like, were, let's go home, yeah, Dad, come let's on. Let's go home. I guess that's what we're gonna do now. Um, yeah, I don't know how this video will turn out, to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna sit down now and cut it for you guys. Um, I will definitely upload it. Somebody's freezing. It's like two <laughs> degrees or so. But I'm warmed up from sailing now. Uh, make sure, if you liked it, to subscribe. Only subscribe if you put the notification bell on because I only want you to be subscribed if you're interested in watching the videos. Yes, I know they should subscribe, I know. And what else? Like the videos? Yes? And leave a comment as well? Okay, okay. They will, they will. Okay, bye guys.